Hey, I'm Volt. Welcome to the next tutorial. We're doing blend shapes today. So this one, we're going to be covering how to add the 52 AR kit blend shapes, as well as make your own custom ones and just tweak them a little bit from within Unity. Um, quickly, the four things you're going to, we're going to go over that you're going to need is uh, Unity 2019.4.31 F1, uh, Uni VRM. This allows you to import your model into Unity, um, VSF SDK. This, you might be able to do this with just VRM, but I do it with VSF SDK, which is compatible with VC face and VNN. If you, if it works for VRM, cool. You can use v, uh, Uni VRM for it. You can test it out yourself. I have never actually done VR uh, blend shapes with only using VRMs. Test that at yourself. If it works, it works, but don't, it don't. Uh, and the last thing is HANA tool. You will need HANA tool. It's like roughly $7, I think off booth. I will also link to that in the description. And, um, that's all you're going to need to create your uh, custom AR kit, iPhone compatible blend shapes. Uh, from here, we're going to go ahead and jump over to Unity. So I'm already here. This is the tutorial we just created for uh, 3D rooms and the real time shadows and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this light back. And we're going to take the stock model. So you got your model imported. You have Uni GLTF and Uni VRM. This is these two toolbars at the top. You get these when you import Uni VRM correctly. And then HANA tool. If you use VSF SDK, you'll have this toolbar as well. If you don't have it, it's not imported correctly. So HANA tool, once you have bought that, you drag everything inside of the asset folder down here to install it, import it, whatever. Next, 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 enter done. And you will get all your toolbars here. HANA tool is the main one you're gonna to wanna to look out for. So once you have your model imported, you drag it into the hierarchy. I already have the stock model here. We have our model here. And the third folder over when yours is a completely stock model, it's the third folder is your blend shapes folder. So you'll see all we have, third one over gives you all these options. All we have is this. This is the default stock model stuff. So to give ourselves the 52 blend shapes with HANA tool, we're going to click on the stock model, HANA tool, reader, and uh, you will need to, this is only for uh, Vroid models and you will need to do one thing when exporting your Vroid model. So when you export the model, there's gonna be some stuff on the right. Uh, you can uncheck two boxes. You only need to uncheck one, which is the uh, delete transparent meshes. Uncheck that box or else you will not be able to use HANA tool. You can also uncheck while you're at it, uncombine hair meshes. This allows you to texture each individual hair strand. If you keep that checked, your hair is all one thing and you can't texture each individual strand. Fun fact, fun little tip there. Um, but you will need to uncheck the delete transparent meshes. All right, and once we're here, this is why you need to delete transparent meshes because once you go to read, it will have issues. It will pop up a little box saying the vertices aren't correct or some crap. So we're going to pop in our face right up here and click on this is perfect sync male. This is for the stable version of Vroid. And if you have a female model, click on the female perfect sync. If you have an older beta version, you will use a different one of these. I don't know exact, exactly which one. I have the uh, latest release stable version. So I use these two for female and male. We're going to go ahead and read blend shapes. This is really fast and we're done. Exit out. Next one is clip builder. This will add all 52 to your model. Grab your model, plop it in here. Don't touch any of these clip build, unless you're on the beta, then you're probably gonna use beta. This will take a minute. This can take upwards to a couple minutes, depending on how your system handles unity. But once it's done, you will notice at the bottom here, we will fill out our blend shapes and I will show you how to then customize them instead of keeping them stock because the stock ones are kind of booty. All right, and uh, once it's done, you'll get this little thing here and click okay and boom, look at that. We have all 52 now. And we can go ahead and close this out. The third one, if you click on it, you'll notice you have all of these now. Look at that, all these custom blend shapes. And you can actually, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this bigger and we're going to actually go ahead and move me all right, that way I could show you what to do. All right, so the stock ones of these, if you'll notice, they are kind of booty. 
especially like um it's fine mouth funnel uh mouth pucker they kind of suck now you can edit this inside of vroid first before you come here but it's for me it's much easier to leave them stock and come inside unity and do them here so i'm going to i'm going to show you how to edit every single one of these we're not really going to use uh expressions though you can use the same stuff for expressions because once you have the um the tracking uh you won't really need expressions anymore unless you actually want them so i'm not going to cover them the same steps can be applied if you do want to cover them though so we're going to take our stock ones here a drop down the little face and these are all the blend shapes we have access to and i'm going to just slowly shrink these now we're going you can actually you can actually use this go look inside of a mirror or have like a mirror pulled up uh let's see i need to look more over here now right and um, be like, hey, see what the mouth looks like. And kind of mirror that. You have, uh, you can mix some U in there. You know, tune it to your liking. I, I is kind of like a little funky. I like to add a little bit of uh, A in there. Maybe pull a little bit of I back out. That's even maybe a little bit too much A. U. Use way too much U, and to get the proper U, I like to take U down a little bit and put a little O in there. Oh, what am I grabbing? That's hide. O. Gives it that more U look with a more open mouth. Something like that, maybe? Uh, e. E is way too big, I think. So pull that down a little bit. E. O. O is huge. So we'll take that down. O. Maybe add a little bit of U in there. What, what did I grab? I grabbed I. U. Maybe a little bit more O. And the next ones, that can mess up. So there's going to be, I believe, one, two, three, four, five of these. Yeah, there's five. So blink. If your eye, Make sure your eyelids aren't clipping inside of each other. If they are, bring this down. And you can move these. Then if it's still funky, it's because blink left, blink right, and uh, right over here, I blink left and I blink right. So you need to change all five of those if you want to edit your uh, blinking issues. If they're fine, fine, leave them alone. But if they're not fine, you have to edit all five. Uh, next ones that can mess up. Uh, brown da brow down left. See how it's like um, inside like the eyelid area? So we'll take that and just simply raise it up. So maybe to like right here. So we'll do a 40.6. 40, 40, 40. We'll go over to the other one. Make sure it's perfect. And we'll do a 40.6. Bam. And now it's the same on both sides. And we'll go through brow enter up. You can also change this. That looks a little bit too drastic to me. So we'll pull that down. Maybe like a 50. 50 looks fine. Uh, brow enter up. That's really drastic. That's really drastic. You can change each one of these. Uh, tip, mouth closed. That's supposed to look like this. So what this does is make your top lip able to be able to come up real high and your bottom lip able to go down a little low. So you can do faces like this. So now when doing those faces, um, this can be a little bit too exaggerated. So you can come in and uh, let me move me back over again. Whoa, 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 over here. Good enough. Good enough. Uh, I like to, you're going to have to test this one. You're going to have to test it. But a good like 70% might be where you need to be. So things to look out for is when you make those faces, watch for the mouth to be clipping inside of itself or not be closed all the way when pulling your mouth up and down. So if you got that, you know, dial it in, but I'd say start at 70 and work your way up or down from there. Uh, jaw open, way too much, way too much. Pull that down. Um, let's see, mouth funnel. Mouth funnel always looks a little funky. 
So what I like to do is pull that down a little bit and maybe add a little bit of jaw open in there. Or maybe even add um, maybe a different um, mouth movement in there. So you get the exact funnel look. Uh, mouth pucker is always broken. So we're going to... Now the thing to note with mouth pucker, it brings the lips physically outwards. So we're going to try to keep that as much as possible while actually giving it um, more... Mm, more volume as far as mouth goes. So I'll bring it down, but we're going to keep it, bring it back by adding uh, a little bit of O and a little bit of U. And then we're going to actually add mouth closed, which is also a function right here. And now we get that pucker look. We can actually change pucker here. So you still get that puckered look without breaking the mouth we'll say 60 percent look good all right uh next ones to uh edit are you can edit mouth right upper all this um you can edit those as you please but the main ones being mouth smile right and mouth smile left i think the smile is way too drastic so we'll bring that down to say 60%, not even lower, 55, maybe a 50, 50%. Make it more realistic. Uh, where's this? 50%. That way when we smile, it's not terrifying. Also, uh, I think mouth shrug. Mouth shrug is also way too much in my book. So we'll bring that down to here. And from there, you can edit these each individually, but those are my main ones that I edit to get the more pleasing look out of the blend shapes. And then once you're done, simply export your model with VSF SDK. If you want to try it with VRM, you can. I don't know if it works. I'm too lazy to try it. Have at it. Uh, this has been Volt. If you want to see these things live, I stream V. I have a V Dev Nights every Saturdays at 4 p.m. EST. I stream Wednesday through Saturday at 4 p.m. EST. But um, you can feel free to hop in the Discord, show off what you've made, show off different things, ask questions, hit me up on Twitter, whatever you need to get a hold of me, do it. Uh, if you have any questions at all, I'm always available, always available to help, always happy to help. Uh, I'm Volt. Catch me whenever. Bye. See you in the next one.